Hello, today, <laughs> I don't know why I'm pretending like I have any sort of following. Um, I don't have a job, so I'm just gonna be doing me doing things on YouTube. That is not a good intro. <laughs> I'm just gonna start doing stuff. So my roommate Allie is out with a boy on Hinge. Exciting stuff. I'm really scared I'm gonna share too many details. There's not really many. So they're out, and so I decided I was gonna decorate Allie's room. I was like, maybe I'll do something sweet for her and decorate it cute. That's not who I am. So then, I can't tell if I'm being a great storyteller or a terrible one. Sorry if everyone's doing this. I'm not that chick, so I just decided I was gonna be scaring her instead. I'm gonna be painting some things and then putting all that spider web stuff everywhere in her room. And I have to, once she's getting back, open the door and make it look like someone broke in. I don't know how else I'm gonna do that besides just having the door open. I can't tell if I should have like scary music in the background, but like what kind of killer would do that? There's a giant bug on my wall. Oh my God. It's like the government's spying on me. Hello. Ah, I don't wanna kill it. Maybe we'll just coexist. Oh, it's moving. Do you think it's talking about me? Hmm, anyways. I can't take my eye off of it. Do I fucking kill it? I don't know what to do. Nope, I just know it's gonna be a disaster. We'll coexist, we'll coexist. Speaking of, the first thing I'm gonna be drawing is a bat. I know you can't see this because I'm not like high tech, but I don't mean to brag, it looks fucking cool. This is fucking, whoa. That kind of looks super shitty. <laughs> That's, fuck it, I think she'll think it's funny. Don't know if my phone has low battery, probably does. And I don't know if this is just gonna be the whole video just cuts out here because I don't have enough space because that's also very possible. I, I wish I could show you guys what I'm doing. I hope there's some hack where it's like a reflection in the mirror. I don't fucking know. That would be dope. Or if there was like some technology where instead of like watching YouTube where you watch someone live their life as they showed it to you, if you could just like tap into someone's actual life and experience it as them, like what if technology became that advanced? All right, this bat's coming along. Its head went through some funking bumps in the road, but it looks pretty cute. To be a bat. Ew. Remember when a bat started coronavirus? Like, that poor bat. Like, if we ever find out who that bitch was, we are gonna beat him the fuck up. I just can't believe that. He didn't even know what he did. He was just like eating shit, and then like, little did he know his bowels digested it wrong, and like, every, someone ate him. I probably didn't know someone was gonna eat him or else he would have done it differently. I bet the coronavirus is back. I'm just gonna do a bio on him. I bet he had sisters. I don't know how many bats are born at once, but I bet this one had sisters only and maybe a brother, but he was distant. And so this bat had like the morals, like don't eat poop if you know that in the future you're gonna give human race a disease. Like, you know, like that's like, right? Like what if they learned that in bat school? What if between species, there's like a UN that converses about things to do, like bats in their best interest as like sentient beings are like, okay, we won't do that. And then what if the like different things are in battle right now? Because this bat didn't obey the rules. That would be tight. Like a little UN of like bats and humans and like rhinos. Oh, that bug hasn't moved. Maybe our UN people are like, you can't just jump on people in the middle of videos. And he's abiding that law. Thank you for coexisting with me, friend. I bet every time like anyone dies by another species hand, the council has to debrief and be like, do we punish that animal or no? You know? And how does Harambe fit into this? I'm gonna turn this off and come back when this looks not like this anymore. Okay, I'm back. Look at the bat. Also, why is this matching? Whoa. I mean a bat, which I told you about. I'm not gonna do the purple around it because that's, that was just bold, we, we all knew it. And then I made a moon, because I felt like it would just like kind of look cool in the window. This is like not even a prank. It's like kind of cute. Are we married? I don't even know. Allie, let me know. Well, her boo thing was saying that we were like old ladies like laughing around in our house and thinking everything we did was hilarious. But like, sue me. Like, 
Is that not friendship? I like to have fun and like buy rubber eggs with my income from the job I don't have. I spend my money how I want. Max out at 12 rubber eggs because I do think it would be really funny to drop a dozen, but I don't think it would be funnier to drop more than a dozen. But 12? How much is that? 36 bucks for such a good prank. You give someone a dozen of eggs and they just fucking drop it and they're all bouncy. It's like in a dream. One time, oh fuck. I'm gonna say this on the internet, hopefully the police don't come find me. But one time recently, I won't tell you where because I don't know if that's much information. I was at a Trader Joe's and I didn't even do it on purpose. I was like grabbing some eggs and then these other ones fell over and they all fell out and cracked. And I was like, what a fucking shame. What now? Did I make a witch's hat? No, a skeleton. That's Allie. That's not gonna scare her, but it'll be cute. And it uses black and yellow like I already have. Ongoing trend. This does not look like a skeleton. Actually, this could, this could. Ooh, oh, this is actually kind of fucking fire. Oh my God, what if this becomes like an art channel? I just do art. I don't know if that's what I want to do all the time. This looks like it was gonna be a good skeleton. I fucked up the eyes, but now it looks like an alien skeleton and it made me think, do we even know if aliens have bones? And does that matter? Like, how much are bones being thrown in the ground in tombs affecting climate change? Or just like the environment, like is that sustainable? Or are we just gonna have to evolve to have no more bones? Oh my God, the police are here. Do you think they're gonna come arrest me? I think this is a new angle. I was just watching the videos to see if they were funny. I still don't know, but in the meantime, this is what I did. I cut these out. Cute, fun, fresh. There's some white on it. I don't care. This. <laughs> the longer I stare at it, the scarier it is. I don't wanna look at it through my phone. Kinda scares me. But it's supposed to be Ali is an alien. I think if my intention is to scare her, I should put that somewhere visible because that's creepy as fuck. I'm gonna go put these spider webs up in her room. Okay, this is her room. I've trapped myself in a corner, but we'll get out. Ah. We're going through the tunnel. I kind of did a good job and it really only took me, I think, one minute. I thought that was gonna be much longer, but this is good because it means I can watch a show. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is gonna be open and here's her room. You like walk in. This was with one thing. Five out of five from Walgreens. So I just want to give you an update. I'm lounging on my couch. So Allie's on her date still. It's 9.30, place closes at 10. So I think I'm gonna watch a Rick and Morty episode and then she should be coming home. And I will record what happens, bye. I am back. So Allie just texted me, not gonna respond. And I'm gonna track her and then lay in her room with the door open and freak her out. Oh. <laughs> 